Good morning, Jazzy Greens. I'm gonna have a little breakfast and then I'm gonna go work out. Normally I don't eat anything before working out, but I decided to do it this time. So what this is, is some uh, blueberry, so good, uh, so delicious yogurt, non-dairy, and some, some oats, and some blueberries, and some pistachio nuts. So I'm gonna sit down and enjoy this, it's so delicious. Okay, after that workout, I tell you, I just had to grab my cup of coffee like I always do. And it tastes so good, so hot and refreshing. You know what I'm talking about. But my workout was so good. I mean, oh man, I just enjoyed it. I mean, it, it really made me tired, as you can see. I mean, I really want to take a nap, but it's like I don't want to go to sleep. Because that's what exercise would do. It will put your butt out to sleep. <laughs> I did a 30-minute uh, walk. Then I came in. I just showed you a little bit of my floor exercises, just the crunches. I do crunches. I do my leg lifts. I do 100 squats, my weights to lift. You know, I use the 20 pound this time and it makes that sweat drip, drip, drip. But I have got to take a nap if I can. <laughs> okay, guys, now I'm going to cut up all this watermelon that I have because I'm going to be doing a watermelon cleanse, whatever you want to call it. Just eating watermelon for the whole day and maybe the half day so this is a very long watermelon so it might take me a day and a half to eat it but um i'm going to enjoy it and just you know try to cleanse my body i like to do this every now and then
hot you guys it's hot Whew, this is monday yesterday on sunday it was 75 degrees out here and now today monday it's 100 100 or 103 degrees and i'm feeling kind of nauseous kind of a ooh, ooh. um what do you call it motion sickness me and hubby are gonna go into walmart and we're not going in we're gonna pick up something really quick i'm gonna stay in the car but I'm just feeling motion sickness right now so and the air is on in here but it's just still hot you know it doesn't feel like the air is crispy cold so uh, sometimes i feel like this and it comes on me you know motion sickness it creeps on me oh, every now and then not not every time i get in the car but oh, and i don't feel it when i'm driving i really don't i don't feel it when i'm driving just when i'm as a passenger tonight oh sorry for the shaking tonight i'll probably drive home or whatever you call it shoot whenever you feel motion sickness sometimes you just cannot think <laughs> you can't think what to say and i don't even know why i picked up this camera oh god because i'm vlogging motion sickness and all oh boy and I'm full, whoa. I haven't had a whole lot to eat, but I'm full. I got this full fe full feeling in my stomach. Just like real full. I mean, I had coffee and some water. And that's, you know, I, well, I did eat a little bit, but that was, woo, woo, woo. Looked like hubby wasn't gonna stop. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Sometime he'll, seems like he's speeding up and it takes so long to stop and that gets me going too <laughs> but anyway what was I saying <laughs> what was I saying I should never said that but I got nervous <laughs> what was I saying that's what you get what was I saying babe I don't even know myself I'm oh my goodness. this is the second vlog that I've done and I and I forgot a portion of what I was about to say. Oh crap! Drive it tonight or I said that, but that was just a real quick thing to say. <sighs> Guys, I don't know. I just forgot what I was about to say. So I'll see you later. Okay, I'm back home now. Picked up just a few things, not too many things of home decor. But the first home decor thing I picked up was this cute little sign autumn is here pumpkin spice and cozy nights so you know this is gonna go in the kitchen somewhere oh this is gonna look so cute and these are pretty nice size too i like these for a dollar 25 not bad at all yep so that was pretty much yeah the only thing of home decor related then I picked up Sam a cute mug. I saw this mug and I thought this was him. It's kind of big, not too big, but it's a nice color. It has blue, which he likes, and brown. Now, I don't know if he's going to like this brown and blue together. I could have gotten the black and, and brown, but I didn't know. So I'm going to see if he likes this. <laughs> Hopefully he does because he likes to drink coffee. So I picked up that. And then the next items is nothing exciting, guys. It's just um, miscellaneous things that I needed. Some more soft soap TP known as toilet paper. And that's a pack of four. I have been wanting some straws. Like when I drink my smoothies or if I make a certain drink like my sparkling water and I put some um, like... Um, cherry juice or something like that in there and some ice so i like to you know drink those type of drinks in these straws and this is a pack of 150 now i didn't need this many but they didn't have anything like a smaller pack like here you know so this is gonna last us a long time and then i got these napkins now i was looking for the rectangular ones that are 
you know, this long like that. And they didn't have them out. They had just gotten their shipment in and they said, you know, the things would not be out until tomorrow. And I'm like, oh, I'm not coming back tomorrow. So I just went ahead and picked these up to add to what we already have. Last but not least, just another individual Tupperware. Now I have one already. I Actually, I have two. One has the top, you know, like this with no crack and one has one with a crack. So I'm going to throw that one away and use this. So that's all I picked up. Okay, guys, I don't know what's going on right here. This corner where we're at, you see the ambulance AMR there, and then you see these um, deputy sheriffs. I don't know what's going on. Something yeah. bad Some has new. happened. Oh, wait a minute. Getting in the car without putting the gas. <laughs> here, babe. That's 30, so that's 80 right there, what you got. Tell me. Okay. Thank you. I don't know. Ooh, wow, what's happening? Mm. We're going all the way down the street here. Hmm, wow, look at all that. Jeez, I wonder what happened. Wow, they got about, it looked like four officers. Yeah, we're just getting some gas here at Arco. There was about four police um, or sheriffs up here where we are. Sheriff, deputies, uh, cars. <laughs> I can't say the words right. And then you have an ambulance with two ambulances, which is AMR. And they're still down there. I don't know what's going on. I better turn into the local news and see what's going on. I always say a little prayer, you know, like, peace, peace, peace. Lord, help them. Whatever is going on, help the, help the people in Jesus' name. I do, because I, I have compassion for people. I used to didn't do that, but I think about it as I get older. So, anywho, wow, we're on our way home. We're going to get home safely. That's right.
Okay, Jazzy Green, I'm back in the car. I tell you, that line is horrendous. It was like 20 people ahead of me and 20 people behind me. And then you guys are not prompt up on this thing good, so I'll be careful. Okay, like I said, Jazzy Green, the line was so, so long. But let me show you real quick before I uh, get home what I got. Just two items. And of course, I'm dressed like this because I worked out this morning. So, and it's still morning. <laughs> it's still morning. Hold your horses. I just picked up, like I said, two items in this cute mug. Isn't it cute? Pumpkin mug for how much? Let's see. $4.99. One thing about TJ Maxx's uh, prices, especially for their mugs and things like this, I just like because they're so cute. And here is the uh, the handle here. Handle's cute. And of course it has a little um, pumpkin inside. Let me see if you can see it. Ah, can you guys see it? There you go. It's one little pumpkin inside. So that is so cute. So like I told you guys before, whenever I get something new, like I just got a new mug, that means one of my mugs has to go. And then the last and final thing I picked up were some hand towels for the kitchen. I think I'm going to start decorating uh, for fall in my kitchen first. Here are the cute hand towels. I like this color. You guys can't really see how it looks on camera that well. It's kind of like a, it's not pink, but it's kind of, it's a fall color. That's all I can say. It's a nice, um, kind of a rust type color. Okay, it has that color there. That print, same print on the back well a little bit different these are squares and in the middle is just a solid uh, rust color like that you guys will get a chance to see this you know in my kitchen and this was nine nine ninety nine doctor I went to the podiat podiatrist and he said plantar fasciitis how am I not surprised because of all the pain that I've been having in my heel now this is the um, it's actually a night brace but I can wear it a couple of hours anytime or I can wear it at night I try wearing it at night in the bed, but I'm telling you, throughout the night I have to take it off because it, it creates a lot of pain. Either pain on top of my foot or right in here in the toe or 
numbness up under the toes and he did say that if there's any numbness or pain just take it off and that's exactly what I do but I just wanted to show you guys how you know that I'm wearing this <laughs> how it looks and everything and it's very difficult to put on so I had to uh, put the camera down just to snap these little things in there's three of them one two and three it's very difficult sometimes i have to ask ask my hubby to help me snap them in but it's very uncomfortable but you know it's supposed to do the job and um yeah this is what it looks like pretty ugly <laughs> so let me stand on it so you guys can see oh man now, I'm not going to, I mean, I can walk on it, but it's very difficult to walk because you can't walk normal. It's just the way the thing is made. You know, it feels like this will break. <laughs> but that's how it looks. Yeah, so I'm going to sit my butt down for now and I'm going to take it off. Now, I went to see the doctor uh, sometime last week, which was, I'm not sure if it was the 13th of August. I'm not sure. And I knew exactly what he was going to do. I just felt he was going to inject it. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. When he told me what he was going to do, I was like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> he says, yeah. And I'm like, oh. Now, mind you, I already prayed before I got to the doctor's office. I, pr I prayed and I asked the Lord to help me. And to help me not feel the real excruciating pain that I felt last time. And what the doctor said, he said, it's not really the needle that goes in. It's the medicine. I'm like, ooh, wow, but it feels so bad. Let me tell you how I acted. I was so embarrassed. I know I overreacted and, and most of it was nerves. I was just nervous, okay? He sprayed, he has this numbing spray. I don't know if it's called numbing spray, but it's very cold, icy feeling. And if you've ever had it, you know what I mean. He sprayed it on the hill and I'm like, oh gosh, I'm, I'm working myself up. I'm like, whew, oh gosh, oh. All of a sudden, I don't know when he put the needle in there, but I started to holler. I went like this. It was kind of like, wah, wah, wah. I was so embarrassed. And when I, before I finished, he said, okay, it's done. It's done. And I'm like, oh, you know, like I stopped hollering and I, I didn't really feel too much of anything. It was just me going crazy. <laughs> And my nerves, I mean, all that hollering, I was just nervous. That's it. Because I don't even remember feeling the, the needle go in. I don't think I did. Because that holler just over, it, it uh, the hollowing overread, override, however you say it, how, however you say it, it <laughs> I can't talk today. But I didn't feel the needle go in. I don't think I did. No, I was just extremely nervous and I'm like oh gosh now the other heel is infected too when I say infected it's um very painful too it's both of them and he told me I forgot what he said I think he said we'll see how that one is and I'll wear this brace he wants me to alternate it uh wear it for two days you know however long I wear it each two days switch and then tighten it up it's not easy it, it's just not easy <sighs> i tell you it was uh it was an ordeal but this other heel i feel like he should have went ahead and just injected it while we, i was already there just knock it all out but he did tell me that uh, a lot of times the first injection will help with the other one very little, okay? The heel is not hurting, excruciating, but I still feel pain. And I'm thinking when I go back to him in the next two and a half weeks now, 
because he told me to come back in three weeks. So it's two weeks remaining. I just hope he don't say, let's go ahead and inject it. And I'm thinking, doctor, you should have did it when I was already hollered. Ah! You know, all that mess. He should have already did it. I wished I had told him to do it, you know, but I think he wanted to do it his way. So, you know, he's a doctor. Oh, boy, I just hope I don't have to because I don't want to go through this again. I'm tired of that injection. I'm tired of the nervous feeling and that, ah, that holler. Ah, ah. I was so embarrassed. And when I got to the reception, when it was time to check out, I said to her, I said, I am so embarrassed. And she told me, don't worry about it. She says, you are not the first. I said, really? So there's been other adults that hollered like me. And she said, of course. I said, oh, okay. Well, I don't feel so bad. But there was nobody in the waiting room. So I was not that embarrassed, you know. But I was like, my gosh. It was just quiet. Especially after I was doing all the hollering. Because he had patients in other rooms, you know, waiting. And I know they, they might have laughed to themselves. I don't care laugh because i'm pretty sure i sounded ridiculous and funny <laughs> you know if i had heard somebody laughing in my room i probably would have laughed to myself too but um it was nervousness that's all it was because i don't remember feeling too much of any discomfort so anywho i'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this um my second cup of coffee Yeah, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this right now and just let this um, heel do, let this boot do its thing with this heel. Because I think it's supposed to stretch the plantar. The plantar is like a, I don't know how to describe it. You would have to Google it, but it's, I don't know if it's a muscle or a tendon behind the foot in the bo bottom of the foot. And it goes from one end all the way down to the heel. Because he did tell me I have several bone spurs. Which I knew I had a couple. But then he was saying there was another one on the, the other side of the foot. And then something, two or something on the left foot. <sighs> I'm discouraged. I'm very frustrated because I need to find out how can I re um how can I re um resist this? I mean, how can I avoid this from happening? Is there anything naturally I can take? I mean, I'm eating as healthy as I possibly can, so I I don't know, but I know it's uh, caused by inflammation. I do know that, but I don't know. I've got to get you know, as this weight comes off and everything, and maybe more information will come off then. I don't know, but girl, I'm telling you, those needles. Ooh okay, I just came out of the post office and I got these two packages. So I'm going to open them, open them up and let you guys see what I bought. I got these from uh timu i believe yes no wait a minute timu <laughs> timu and tiktok i think this one came from this one came from tiktok <laughs> and this one came from timu so let me open it for you okay guys i only have one hand to work with as you can see probably i have this cute little phone case now I thought this was adorable. I tell you, Timu and TikTok, they got some very <laughs> interesting, cute, but weird things. I, not weird in a bad way, but um, just interesting, I should say. I won't say weird. I take that back. But these are um, different phone cases, and I got this one here. I hope I like it when I put my phone in it. I think it's cute. Look at it. <laughs> Old-fashioned uh, telephone you know how you put the coin in? Remember when we used to do that? Remember when we used to have to do that? Isn't that cute? Oh, MG that has the five, ten cent, twenty-five cents to make the call, and then you have the the um, rotary dialing. Oh my goodness, this brings back the day. Ah, isn't that cute? 
So I picked up that one. Let me just go ahead and go in this bag here and just pull them out. I got this cute bracelet. Ooh, isn't she cute? Mm-hmm. She pretty. And then some cute beauty earrings. These are glam earrings. I hope you guys, the lighting is good. These are really, really cute. Hope you guys can see it good. Here is my last bracelet. Now, this is funny because I was trying to open it up right here. Trying to pull on it and I didn't want to break it. And then some told me, just put it on your wrist. So it's a little big. Um, mm, I don't know about this one. I may have to send this one back because I feel like in the long run, it's going to come off my wrist. It's really cute though. It's like a rope chain. How cute is that? Kind of big. Um, I wanted something big and thick like this because, you know, something different. I'm always wearing things that are nice and dainty and I want to just branch out. This one may have to go back. Earrings. These are pearl earrings. Aren't they cute, you guys? Let me let you see how it looks. Let me just take one of them out. Okay, I didn't take it out all the way. I just took it out of that other bag. But isn't that cute? Little pearl, little earrings. Okay, it's a teapot, but it's very nicely wrapped in this cute little bag. I want to show you the bag that it's in. Really cute. I'm going to keep this bag. Now I'm going to unwrap it, and hopefully I can with this one hand. This is a big one, too. I was looking for, I don't know, I was looking for different kinds and I, I, I was really going through that that site like crazy, searching and reading about the different ones they had. They had one, nice pretty colors. I mean, those are the ones I really wanted, but I don't think that they were made to go on the stove, the stove top. And I needed one for that purpose. Some of them did not say, so I didn't want to take a chance. All right, I'm struggling. Hold on, I'll be right back. <laughs> Here she is. Lighting is not the best, but I hope you guys see it. Isn't this beautiful? White and gold. I think I picked out a really good one. Cute top. Take the top off like that. This is a nice size. I really like the size in here. Space. And then this little button here. I've never had one of these, so I'm going to have to, you know, look at the reviews again and uh, look at the video that they, you know, that they had on there to explain to you how to do it. It's very easy, but I don't want to mess up anything. <laughs> okay, you guys. I'm getting ready to make hubby some burritos. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. You guys just continue watching me as I do this. And I'm going to play some music so you guys can enjoy.
Okay guys, the meat is done, so now I'm gonna put it all together. close out today's video i hope you guys enjoy my vlog i love vlogging i don't do it a whole lot but you know i hope you enjoy what you saw and if this is your first time watching i would invite you to subscribe to my channel please subscribe give this video a big thumbs up and welcome to jazz green family and don't forget to set your bell to all so that you will be notified and you won't miss any of my videos okay Thank you all so much for watching all my faithful Jazzy Green family members. You guys take care, be blessed, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>